Boom! <clears throat> testing, testing. Sounds about right. <clears throat> Let's just settle in. Get to know each other again. I know y'all missed me. You guys missed my voice somewhat. In some crazy way, you guys love me. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so, pa, let's begin episode three. Got our prelims to get do w away with. So let's get ready. Who's ready for a show tonight, baby? All right, our first match is gonna be Denzi and Carlzilla going up against the mystery team. Who could it be? Who? If I remember right, this way they come out first. Made a somewhat full recovery. to show you who their mystery team is so I'm just gonna keep that right there yeah I I'm hoping that you know Horrid Hood gets his victory but I matched him up tough I mean, just sometimes, sometimes you just don't have good luck, man. I'm rooting for, I'm rooting for Horde Hood, man. Try to find one wrestler and you just can't find them. You ever have that problem when you have just too many edits and you're just like uh, lost in the shuffle? Oh, yeah, you know, when I start early, sometimes oh, people don't show up. It, it's fine. As long as I have someone to talk to and I have my sanity. Okay. Oh, 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 I found them. <laughs> um, you know why? Because um I asked C Drive already about that. He never got back to me, so that's on him. I, I would love to have that um, live stream notification thing. That would be fucking great. I 
wonder if he's going to take credit for creating this game. Oh, here comes the conquering heroes. Brazilla, the ruin of arms. And his partner, the Dentian. Who I have a date with in a few weeks. Once in a lifetime, folks. We're the purposeful of Grimace and a terrible sound. He pulls the spinning. Of course, his team saw this one. Carlzilla. Oh, double elimination there. Carlzilla and Dentian working like a well-oiled machine. The Royal Ring and Zip Japan come together tonight. Oh, 
Oh, STF! Lots of Matt Dickey! Will Matt Dickey tap out? to the back of the neck. Oh, God, suplexes him on his neck. Looks like I'm in for a fight of my life. Dear God. Damn. Can't believe Matt Dickey's hanging, hanging on with these guys.
pulled by Mr. Tendroof. And now he's getting stretched out. As the fans say, stop talking and keep commenting. I will do that just for y'all. Russian leg sweep there from the Battle Cat. Now taking the knees out of Old Man Tenru. Battle Cat getting whacked right in the back of the neck. Wrenching the arms and flipping it over. Whipping him. Oh, clothesline taking his head off. That's it. Say goodnight to the Battle Cat. No, Battle Cat kicks out. Oh, wow. Surprising strike battle here. Did not think the Battle Cat would have the chops to hang with Mr. Tenru. And he did. He, he actually won the strike exchange. I'm actually surprised. I'm not sure who's under the mess tonight if it's uh, Bob Bradley or Brady Boone, but he's about to get taken to German Suplex yeah. City. Oh God, right in the neck. One, two. Referee giving him a count of five, and um, I don't know what the hell Tenru was doing. I don't know what he was thinking. Headlocks uh, the battle cat. The battle cat is down. Any Russian leg sweeps uh, generally with Tenru. Surprisingly competitive match. Tenru being taken to the limit by battle cat. Uh, it's right by the ropes. That's not going to work. Dragon screw from battle cat. Uh, sending to the top rope and hits it with a moonsault. Going for the cover. One, two. Back of the head, around the battle cat. Tenru whipped him into the ropes there, to the turnbuckle. Oh, battle cat there with a surprising roll up. Run. Nope. Scoop this away from Mr. Tenru. Now sending the top rope again. Yeah. What the heck is he doing? Elbow drop. That's it. Go for the cover there. No, no cover. Brain buster. Another brain buster. That has to be it. One, two, three. That's it. Tenru, Kiki out a win there. Very competitive match against Battle Cat. Now we got a title defense match here. Let's set this up. Hopefully the theme music I gave works. This is gonna be very painful to watch. Hide your kids and hide your wives.
Oh, there you go, the senator opening up the floor and chopping the crap in it. That's okay, Sekimoto. And now he's about to stretch him. Using the bottom rope as leverage, gaining a little bit of an angle there. Oh, what a beautiful lariat there from the Sekimoto. He gets chopped in the throat. Goes for the cover of the senator. Sekimoto kicked out. Now stretching him again. Keep up. Keep up. Good job there, grounding the muscle monster, making sure he can't get his power moves. Going for a brain buster, a stalling brain buster. He could have did my math homework doing that. Now here we go, the pretty strike, shit is about to get real. As they would say in America. Now a stalling suplex again for the muscle monster, the Super Sekimoto. Oh, great job there, Senator. Again, stopping the Super as soon as he gets a hitch of momentum. Totally stopping him. Chopping him away. Five minutes gone. So far this match has been controlled by the Senator. He has the floor and he got Sekimoto's attention. And right now he's giving him his two cents. And he hits him with a polarizer. I believe. Another stalling suplex there. Oh, they just bumped chest there. Just too much momentum. Now Sekimoto goes for the cover. Oh, God! Another Phillip Buster. Well, his neck is gone. Five count? Yes. Should have taken his time with that. Torture is back in the world. Muscle monster go to work now in the senator. And another Philip Buster, that's it. Oh no, he gets right back up. Dragon suplex there for the bridge. Ten minutes gone. Larry Otto from Vesque Sekimoto. Another Larry. Oh, Texas Clover Leaf. Keep up. Keep up. Right in the middle of the ring and it gets out. Oh, 
Great job there from Sekimoto. Going for the cover. This should be it. Will this be his title defense? No. Oh, wow. Another Schwinn. That's it. The Senator has him. He's down. Drop kick there. Should be it. That should be game over. Wow. Second rope superplex. Oh, and the referee's down again. Big fat body getting in the way. Oh, wow, you could count to 100. Nobody will count that. The referee's down. That's it, Larry Elto. One, two. Oh my goodness, he beat the Senator. We have a new champion, his name is Daisuke Sekimoto. He's going to have to get a rematch because he had him pinned. One, two, three. You could have counted till the cows got home. Well, the senator got screwed. Daisuke Sekimoto gained the title in controversial fashion. And now we're going to be going on to one of the last few matches in the preliminaries. Then we go on to my tournament. Thank you again for tuning in. Josh Jersey Boy. Live from New Jersey. I have a pair of pants on. Everything's kosher. We're all good. So since I called out Mr. Denzian, if he's here tonight, I'm going to show him a bit of uh, some, some of my Jersey hospitality. I'm going to invite him to watch this match. And let's see if he likes what he's going to watch. If I can find that guy, hold on. This is always the hardest part. It's going to be a brutal match for as long as it lasts. Also, give me a break from commentating because my mouth is parched.
five minutes gone.
Get up! Get up! taking a whooping for Matt Tremont. We got one more match left. It's going to be a styles clash between Minoru Suzuki, one of the AAW title contenders, going up against a luchador. Lucha Libre. Let's see here. Let's see what luchador I can get from Junior World. Oh, if anyone has any questions about any of the promotions that you see here, man, feel free free to ask. Oh, this is going to be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Scotty Tuhati in a no disqualification match, and Scotty Tuhati show us that we can believe in magic again and defeat the monstrous Minoru Suzuki. Minoru Suzuki is going to look to establish a ground game and ground um, Scotty Tuhati. And he just gets slapped to the face there. The leader Suzuki gun showing Scotty Tuhati no respect. Scotty Tuhati not backing down. Didn't think Scotty Tuhati was that big. Uh, apparently, he's around the same size as Minoru Suzuki. Up Minoru Suzuki there, uh, already busting open Scotty Tuhati. Scotty Tuhati just trying to show a little bit of fight here. Will this go the full 60 minutes? That's my question. Over or under 15 minutes, some people will say. 
just due to the whole style differences and the style clashes. Oh, wow. Two elbows there just knocks Scotty down. Looks like he won't be doing the work tonight. He'll be doing the funky chicken after getting rocked by those elbows. Scotty missing the drop kick there. His blood already pouring all over the ring. I think we're going to go through five canvases tonight. And establishing that ground game again. Fully controlling Scotty Duhati and whatever he does. This is Minoru's match to lose. If he loses this match, this might be a very mighty blow he can't recover from. Great job there from Scotty Duhati. You know, Minoru Suzuki is a very scary individual. Reminds me a lot of myself. Except if I was ten times meaner and I knew how to stretch people. Oh, there we go. Now they're exchanging strikes. What? Probably a bad idea from Scotty Duhati. As Minoru Suzuki kicks him in the face. Now it's choking him. Oh, gosh. He got that choke. Sinked in deeply. And he just lets go. Just so he can punish Scotty some more. I heard a rumor once that a snake bit uh, Minoru Suzuki and after five minutes of agony it died as Minoru Suzuki slaps Scotty down and starts to choke him again. Keep up. Keep up. Five minutes gone. Well, five minutes have gone so far. Scotty Duhati lasting a bit longer than people said he would. Oh, great job there from Scotty. Trying to slow down Minoru Suzuki's momentum. Oh, but he gets locked into a choke. Keep up. This has to be it. Keep up. Great job there from Scotty Tuhati. Oh man, slapping him down again. Oh, choking him out. I did hear a rumor about Minoru Suzuki actually being the head of Voltron. He is the actual face of Voltron. All the lions form to him. Oh man, an octopus stretch there from Minoru Suzuki. Oh, an enziguri there from Scotty Tuhati. Probably not the best move when you're bleeding. Landing close there to that canvas, hitting your face. Another beautiful penalty kick, erasing Scotty's chances of winning. It looks like he's about to tap. He's got him in a cross face. Clamping down right in the neck, and he just gets out. I think Scotty has to use his speed. He's going to have to use some loose tactics. But Minoru Suzuki not having any of it, slapping the crap out of him. Might have mentioned this is TVMA for all the bloodshed. CBS does care, folks. Oh, wow. What a stretch of his own, a surfboard. Mexican surfboard, uh, Scotty Tuhati went for, but Minoru Suzuki easily got out. <laughs> and now Octopus stretching him right by the ropes, just taunting him. And he taps, that is it. Minoru Suzuki annihilates Scotty Tuhati. Now, here is the main event of the preliminaries. It shall begin right now. It's going to be a great match. Oh, wait, that was the main event of the preliminaries. Let's get this tournament on the road. All right, let's take a look at the rankings here. Before we get to this tournament, always make sure you save twice. And this tournament is rated TVNMA for bloodshed and violence and chaos. As you can see here, um, everyone here on the point total boards, I'm um, sorry about that Horrid Hood, but in the main event, Horrid Hood will go up against the Hangman, the undefeated monster. But let's kick this tournament off with style tonight. We're going to have the Englishman, the crazy Englishman, Freddy Tavern, go up against Stan Classic. That is our first match of the evening. All right, it's dead classic, Horrid Hood, I mean, um, Freddy Tavern. 
guys are all well rested. They're ready to go. Their bodies took a beating. I took a beating. My throat took a beating. As uh, Freddy Tapper there, I'm powering Stan Classic surprisingly. This is a big learning experience for Stan Classic. I think being touted as one of the favorites to win this all probably went to his head a little bit. And he got a bit cocky, he got caught in his first match, but after that he's rebounded perfectly. And I think he's been busted open by Freddy Tavern. I do believe he's busted open. And we are live from another arena. Um, that was a... Uh, Going for the cover there. Dead Classic already at a disadvantage early on in this match. Leading like a stuck yeah. pick. I think Freddy Tavern's yeah. busted open too. This is a bloody match already. Yeah. These, two, these two are soaking each other's blood all over the ring like it was a Stephen King movie. Oh gosh, this is going to be violent. Both men are busted open. These two men do not like each other. He's torturing him with a busted crab. Grinding his face against the rink man. Yeah. Oh wow, just all the, the grunting from the clubbing blows from Stan Classic. Freddy Tavern there trying to headbutt him, but he ducks. Oh, there you go, just slowing down Stan Classic now, just using his shoulders. Big wide shoulders of Freddy Tavern coming to play. And now these two are exchanging strikes like they're drinking on Friday night and they're arguing about their favorite football clubs. Instead, Classic gets a hold of that. Both men are bleeding. Both men are destroying each other for our own enjoyment. This is this is what wrestling's all about, folks. Oh, ducking the headbutt again. Stan Classic does. Locks him in there. Again, stamping away. Oh, great job there from Freddy Tavern. Headbutt there from <coughs> Stan Classic. Referee Bruce McKinnon making sure he stays as far back from the action as possible, not wanting to get knocked out. Now they're exchanging strikes again. Stan Classic was going to try to do a turnbuckle attack, possibly, but stopped himself midway now pretty tavern took advantage of that. Stan, Stan Classic's still relatively new in the business. He's a hometown oh. Jersey boy and he just gets lariated by the Englishman. Oh. We're live from the Atlantic City oh. football ball here. And he gets hit with a clothesline. Oh. oh another lariat there for Freddy Tavern. Down to the nitty gritty folks. We're down to the near the last stage of the tournament, the league. Uh, ah! Freddy Tavern and uh, Stan Classic are tied. One man will fall a bit on the leaderboards here. Five points is what you get when you win the match. I think a draw is two points. Ah! Drawn by the five point system. And a count out yeah! is five points. Ah! Lariats there for Freddy Tavern. Stan Classic, Stan Classic bleeding like a stuffed pig. Freddy Tavern also bleeding like a stuffed pig. They're both busted open pretty badly. And now he's, he's grinding his, his feet right to the chin of Freddy Tavern, causing possibly a broken jaw. And Freddy Tavern just walks along like it's nothing. Well, hopefully our sponsors don't object to being a bit bloody. Oh, look at that. He puts him in a chin lock there. Freddy Tavern's jaw coming into a factor here. Locking. Freddy Tavern do. And British Ball! No! Just hits with a lariat. And goes for a backslide cover on Stan Classic. This might be it. No, it is not. Freddy Tavern running out of steam here. The blood taking a lot out of him. Stan Classic being a Jersey boy used to violent brawls. Uh, apparently, he used to get the fights at the Jersey Shore every weekend. But he gets suplexed outside of the ring. None of that no. will matter. He gets counted out. Two, three, and he's standing up. He's just taking a breather there. Five, 
I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Freddy Tavern was gassed. Could have been the best time to pounce on him. Oh, punch in the stomach there. Oh, great job from Freddy Tavern. Kicking him in the face, lace first. Causing uh, his cut to open a bit more. It now resembles something that came out of, um, that comes out of Kane from Alien. Kicked him in the stomach this day, classic. Headbutts, they traded headbutts. That's not safe. Oh, what a beautiful short arm close yeah. right there from Freddy Tavern. Freddy Tavern goes from behind. Clean break there from Freddy Tavern and Stan Classic. Hardcore Warriors going at it. And another neck breaker there. Beautiful job from Freddy Tavern. I think he's going for the British Fall. No. Sand Classic has the wherewithal to shake out the cobwebs. And he hits him down. Slams him. Oh, man. This has been a bloodbath so far. And they have not disappointed. One. Two. Oh, wow. I thought he was going for a back slip, like what said, hits a backbreaker. Whips him into the turnbuckle as well. Yeah. Oh, God. Right into the chair. Right into the chair. Fence shedding asshole. Ref is out counting away. Ready to have him get back in. Oh, man. No, nobody's safe. Even the blood's all over the ring outside of it. I guess some of the fans in the first row got a taste of some Mortal Kombat there. Oh, what a snap powerbomb! Sand Classic winding his arm up. Taking control of this match, now showing why he was the favorite. Wind it all. Oh! Takes his head off with a discus lariat. Blood spewing all over the ring. Feel the power! And he feels the power as he goes for the powerbomb. This is it! Oh, and he takes it! Stan Classic takes it, and he moves up to the leaderboard. Wow, great match. Wonderful finish. Great job from Stan Classic. That was a great match. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now. As you can see, Stan Classic now tied with Hangman, and if Hangman does lose the match, they will be tied for number one. And now, our next match will be Mr. Plato going up against Crippling Christopherson. Hi. I put uh, play Mr. Plato here. Um, I can't pronounce his last name. I'll call him the Mongolian Monster. He's in the same league as the Horrid Hood. Both of them are really new to this. Uh, both of them wanting to prove themselves, and they have. But they just came up short in their matches. Uh, such little things as ring positioning. Just being aware of where you are at all times cost them the match. And actually, uh, Mr. Plato's only victory cup came against the Horrid Hood. These two now are going to war as Mr. Plato, a uh, Mongolian monster, can go shoot for shoot hold on Cripple Christopherson. Cripple Christopherson now shooting for cover. Um, I know some people think, what is Cripple Christopherson doing in this tournament? He's small, can't do anything, but he's big. To, he doesn't have to be big. He knows how to use his weight well. He's a great all around wrestler. And sometimes your size can be your downfall when it comes to getting taken down. But right now, Mr. Plato there taking control over Crippling Christopherson. And if you're just joining us, his name is Plato like the scholar, not Plato like the toy that people used to put in their mouths when they were little kids. Hopefully it was not toxic. As they just circle each other, it's a brilliant way to start this match. And it's starting slow, but now it's starting to heat up. There we go, what a beautiful set of maneuvers there.
This is a big boy, and he scoops and slams him like he's nothing. Yeah! Uh, his forward choking him. I think this is going to be a very technical match. Tiny bit of brawling sprinkled in here, but these two are great all-around wrestlers. I do believe he won the Genghis Khan invitation to the Mongolian monster. And now he has his back, and now going again for that rear naked choke. He has the rope. It's uh, Crippler Chris Thompson. Plato there showing a bit of his rookie. Did not take advantage of that five count. He could have used the five count to his advantage and choked the life out of Crippler Chris Thompson for just a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Chin lock there. He's not going to let go, or will he? He did. Oh, wow. Slowly stamping away on the neck of the Mongolian monster. And again, these guys are exchanging hold for hold. Now has him in a front face lock. That's not where Crippler Christopherson wants to be on the ground with this big man. He might have a great amateur pedigree, but this big man outweighs him by at least 200 pounds. Uh, just for somebody who asked me, Crippler Christopherson, Crippler Christopherson, Crippler Christopherson, Crippler Christopherson, Crippler Christopherson. And now he gets... Oh, there we go. Now showing a bit of, bit more gall there by trying to choke him out. This might play into a factor, though, is uh, his heavy size. His heavy size might wear down the stamina a bit. Um, some of the guys here have stamina problems in the tournament. It's been the detriment to some of the competitors here, like Freddie Tavern and Cowboy Johnston. Now front face lock Keep there. Up. Keep up. The Mongolian monster. And Triple Christopherson, dear God, how do I say this? Oh, oh, oh. he Germans him out of the ring! Whoa. Oh, that had to take a lot of energy. Jeez. At a crippling Christopherson, but he just gets up like it's nothing. Four, and now he's oh oh he his fingers are trapped in the Get chair. Get up. Well, the fans not liking what they see using the chair there. His fingers were trapped. Now you might want to take a look at that. Mongolian monster's fingers were trapped on the chair, and his fingers might be injured. This gets larian. Oh, wow. Bringing in that chair definitely helped Crippler Christopherson out. And now he's going to work. He got him with the... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Right in the chair. And he gets back up like it's nothing. Four strength there for Plato. This is it. Oh, wow. What a lariat there. He's saying this is it. It's over. He's going to finish him again. No, Plato refusing to die. Just tossing him out of the ring again. Right into his damn One, neck. Two, three, oh, he's getting another one for Crippler Christopherson. Realizing five, the weight difference is now coming to effect. Oh, God. Is he going to power bomb him? No, pile drive onto the chair. Oh, right into the end of the chair. Somewhere you don't want to be. Oh, dangerous monster back suplex there. That took a lot out of him. Suplexing a guy that's 200 pounds under you. Grounding him there, back grapple. Oh god, gut rich suplex right on his neck. Well, oh, the fans not liking him using the chair. Oh wow, he fell with his head first onto the chair. He's done. I will find out if there's any history between these two. These two are fighting like they hate each other. But I do believe Crippley Christopherson wants to be near the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. If he loses to Plato, he will fall to, I believe, fourth place. Plato showing that his inexperience doesn't matter because size usually will trump experience occasionally. Dear God, his neck is nuked. I think a few more backdrops, and I think we might be seeing our first critical of the tournament.
Great job there. Oh God, what a German! He's right by the ropes. This is what I mean. Repositioning, killing Plato. Could have had that match in the bag. I think his inexperience will come back to haunt him, or will it? German suplex again. Dear God, he lands on the chair. And another German. Oh, God. Tossed him neck first. And he still gets up like it's nothing. Jesus. Um, I just want to remind the folks, this is TVMA. This isn't your daddy's wrestling. How is Crippling Christopherson just getting up like the Terminator after all these suplexes? And he still gets up! He gets up right before Plato! Dear God! Yeah. Now just still trying to kill his neck. Yeah. Oh, that's it! Crippling, crippling hold! That's it! It's over! Well, I think he finally is starting to feel some pain there. That's good as any joke I've heard. <laughs> That's only an 86. What? <laughs> this game kills me sometimes. Alright, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And Cripple Christopherson now hanging in there with Stan Classic. Uh, Freddie Tavern with his loss now moves down to fourth. Plato still is in fifth. Cowboy Johnston, Dead Eye Ginger now trying to go for fourth. I think if Stan Classic does make it in, he will be in fifth. Because uh, him and Freddie Tavern had a match and he lost against Freddie Tavern, if I remember correctly. Or did he win? Oh, they had a match. Shit, Jeff Ginger and him had a match already? Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. Um... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so he lost against Freddy Tavern. All right. <coughs> so sometimes, sometimes I don't see things very clearly. Let's begin the next match here. Jeff Ginger, Boxing Dynamo against Stan... No, uh, not Stan Clay. I was about to say Stan Hansen. Going up against Cowboy Johnston. Now, these two guys both started off the tournament with high hopes and they both began with a bang, but after their initial first round matches, they started to whimper off a bit. Maybe by winning this match, one of them will gain momentum and catch up to Hangman. Um, and Crippling Christopherson and Stan Classic. But the only downfall for Jeff Ginger really is his hubris, and he doesn't go for that many pin covers. He still believes this is a boxing match. In boxing, you get a minute break. He does, he used to box more than the Dutch rules. He wasn't a bare knuckle boxer. Oh, God! Well, that match lasted about as long as I thought it would. Uh, Jeff Ginger docking the daylights out of Stan Hansen. I mean, um, at a Cowboy Johnston. Well, <laughs> so sometimes your matches, your matches end the way that, um, way that I didn't see coming. Dear God, <laughs> uh, Cowboy Johnston not feeling so good. So this is uh, an updated look at the leaderboard. Dead Eye Jeb Ginger with a Dead Eye punch to the face and scaring the shit out of everyone else in the tournament. Moving back up to fifth place. He did lose against Freddy Tavern, so there's that. And now, our main event, the Hangman against the Horrid Hood. The Horrible Hood? That was Horrid Hood. <laughs> Hi. All right. Well, we just saw the first critical of the tournament. If you didn't see that one coming, I didn't either. Horde Hood now going up against the number one guy, Hangman. Horde Hood with zero points. Um, if anyone wonders why is he in the main event all the time, he just puts out the best match of the damn show. And he's only been wrestling for about a year from what I understand. Sure. He's reached Chicago. 
trying to show kids there's a better life outside of the gang life, wrestling. He donates most of his money to charity and he said sure. he's gonna give it to charity as well. So he's doing this for all the kids, but Hangman not giving a shit about his children. And not pretty much not caring about his cause as he goes to dominate. Port Hood now frustrated after all the losing he's been doing, trying to swing away at the Hangman. And he's about to get tossed out of the ring. Oh no, he lands back first right into the chair. Hangman now going for the kill already. The only reason Horrid Hood didn't lose it so much is just because of bad ring positioning. It's nothing else, really. He had most of his matches won. Uh, if you watched the match, because Jeff Jinker had that one, but his, you know, anytime he gets his finisher, he just puts him right near the ropes. I don't know why. And Horrid Hood just pumping him up there. Keep up. Keep up. The Horrid Hood going to war. Oh wow, great job there. Hangman now Keep trying up. to Keep like, up. grab him. <laughs> Great job there from Ward Hood. Sure. That. And he suplexes him down. Unfortunately, it looks like it might not go the way for uh, Ward Hood. It might just be another loss for him. But he's fighting back. He's fighting strong. He's trying to show his grit. After this, we're gonna have the main event. Oh, he gets choke slam. Uh, Horror Hood choke slams him. That should be it. No. There he has the hangman now in trouble. Horde Hood coming back strong. Oh, what a brain buster from the Horde Hood! Kicks him in the family jewels. The guy won't be having children anytime soon. Choking the life out of him. Three, one, two, three. Oh, there he 
there you go, show no mercy to the Hort Hood, not caring about his backstory at all. Um, allegedly, the hangman's backstory involves him being an executioner in the Tower of London. How plausible is that? I don't know. Dodging a couple of uh, wild strikes there, just trying to get the hangman off of him. And now uh, the hangman getting tossed again from Hort Hood. These guys are exchanging power moves. McKinnon now counting. It's probably the biggest throw at any referee. And he gets dropped. <laughs> uh. Gut wrench suplex with the hood. <laughs> oh wow, what the hell is that? That should be it. Go for the cover. Oh my god, go for a cover. Dodging again another wild clothesline. Just not going for the cover. Now he's gonna go for the cover. Will this be it? Will he get his first win of the tournament? Will he get it? No. Is this it? No. Kicks out and lands head first on the chair. Showing his muscle there, just trying to rule his dominion over the Horde Hood. Horde Hood still having no victories in this tournament. Raw! Raw! Two! Three! Now just brawling to the outside, maybe his best chance of winning by count out. Uh, Horde Hood now just basically waiting for him to get up, just a bit impatient. Trying to swing the chair again, frustrated with his position in this tournament. Horde Hood not caring at all. Oh, choke slam! Barely missing the chair, if he hit him on the chair it would have been over. For it. He's going for the hood to drop. Yes! Side slam from the horde hood. Great job there from the horde hood. Going for the cover. Saying it's over, should just jump on him instead of just standing there. Order now showing off his muscles again. Hook 
there. Oh, that has to be a bear hug the ball game. The hangman defeating the horror hood, the main event. That means his dominion still rules over them. So tomorrow night. Our next tournament matches will be the Hangman going up against Stan Classic. Kriplin Christopherson will go up against the Horrid Hood. Freddy Tavern going will go up against um Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see here. You know what? Alright, so the Hangman's going up against Stan Classic tomorrow. Plato will go up against Dead Eye Jeff Ginger. Kriplin Christopherson will go up against the Horrible Hood or the Horror Hood, whatever you want to call him. Oh, pretty much ran the gauntlet already. Huh. We'll figure this out. No, we'll figure out this mess tomorrow. This is a mess. But anyway, the, the main event tomorrow night will be horror, um, the Hangman against Stan Classic. Everything else, I don't know if it'll be kosher. By the way, make sure you ne don't edit any of your stuff when you're, um... <clears throat> Alright, one more match for the night. Let's end this with a bit of a teaser for my next tournament, the Tournament of Death Hardcore Tournament. Let's see. These two will kill each other. Ha ha ha!
minutes gone. night well thank you all for tuning in we'll see you tomorrow live from new jersey be there every square have fun <laughs>